Hey guys, I'm Deepti Desikin and in today's video I'm going to be talking about some affordable makeup that works better than a lot of high-end makeup and they are really good and in this video I have some of our old favorites as well so uh, in case you're someone who's like okay should I buy a high-end makeup because that's where I can rely on quality maybe affordable makeup is not for me this video might make you think about that decision again because these are really good products now I have done two such videos like this in the past again all these videos will be linked in the cards so you can check them out one by one now all of these products will be available on pretty good discount deals during the amazon prime day sale that starts on 23rd of july and ends on 24th of july so let's get started now the first one i'm going to be talking about of course are primers this one is the color bar water bomb magic water primer i really love this primer and it works really well for people with dry skin it comes with a really good packaging and you get 30 ml of product in this and you can find this one on pretty good discount deals most of the time so if you are looking for a good alternative to the smashbox primerizer you can try this one out i think like you know once you try this out you would understand that it is very very similar to the smashbox primerizer the only difference between this one and the primerizer i feel like is that primerizer can make your skin look a little bit more plumpy a little bit more juicy looking this one doesn't do it as much but it does like hydrate your skin add a really nice glow to your skin so definitely do look into this product if you are looking for a good affordable um hydrating primer and then we have the mass hydra glow primer this is also a really nice option if you want to add a little bit of glow to your skin it does have like very tiny shimmer particles to it it's not very visible but it adds a really nice glow to your skin and i feel like this is a really good alternative to the flower beauty celestial skin elixir i feel like that one is a little bit too shimmery for my liking it does look nice like when you are away from uh, me but if you were to come really close you can see like large visible shimmer particles on my face this one doesn't do that and it's a really nice affordable product and then for pore filling primer the maybelline fit me matte and poreless primer i have talked about the dewy and smooth primer in the previous variant i like that one still it's a very nice dewy primer but i feel like uh in the process of mentioning the dewy and smooth primer i haven't mentioned enough about this one ever since it started to become really humid and i was sweating a lot this was the primer that i reached out for the most because it could uh, fill in my pores pretty well even out that pa uh, part of my skin and i was not looking as like um oily or sweaty it didn't let the oil seep through on my face and i really like this uh primer for that and then now talking about foundation this is an oldie but a goodie this one is the la girl pro coverage high definition long wear illuminating foundation i feel like uh this is a really really nice dewy looking foundation like extremely dewy looking foundation that this will not work for you if you have oily skin or if you live in hot and humid climates this might be a little bit too much for you but this one works like a charm for people who have dry skin or during the winter months and also this is a really nice mixing foundation like it just works when you mix it in with any of your matte foundations and it just adds a really nice like satin finish to your skin and it's no longer like cakey drying matte finish so uh, such a good product that looks like you know you have a very expensive product on your face and really good coverage and lasting bar as well and i still till date actually reach out for this foundation so much because i've shaked it up pretty well you can't see how much i've used it this is like all the way down here because that's how much i love it and given like the number of foundations i have it's a big thing that i'm still reaching out for this because i haven't forgotten about it every single time i'm like okay this foundation looks matte on my skin what do i do to make it work always reach out for the la girl pro illuminate foundation and then the foundation that i have on my skin right now again the maybelline superstay i think a lot of you guys would agree with me on this one it's a really nice high coverage affordable foundation i have the shade 312 golden which i feel like is a really good match for my skin it is a little bit like warmer and uh golden undertone but i really like it i feel like uh, the shade 310 was extremely like peachy looking on my skin and i didn't really like it so 312 is a pretty decent match and 
and you guys can see it's what i have right now my skin looks like skin but with good coverage it's not emphasizing any texture any pores uh, nothing of that sort and it just looks very nice and even sometimes you know the right shade match can just make the foundation look 10 times better and i feel like that's the case with this one uh, i felt like this is a pretty good dupe for the huda beauty uh, for filter foundation the original one i haven't tried out their reformulation but i felt like it was very similar to that just that that one is a little bit thicker and highly pigmented foundation with full full coverage but this one is like medium high to almost full coverage it's a really nice uh, affordable foundation that you can try out and most of the times you can find maybelline on really good discounts so i feel like it's a great product to try out the packaging also is really good and i'm so glad i actually gave this another chance i did really like this foundation but i had to give it another chance with the right shade and just love it and then uh, for concealer i it's about time that i talk talk about this again this one is the inside hd concealer i have this one in the shade i think I'm not sure the shade that I have, but a really good uh, coverage concealer from the affordable range. You get like medium, medium high coverage. It's not the most long lasting concealer underneath my eyes, especially towards the inner corner of my eye. But again, a really, really nice product. And uh, this can work for you even all over your face. Like if you wanted to use conce just concealer all over your face, again, it would work really well. The undertones are really nice. Not that you have a wide variety of shade options, but it's not extremely matte, but not very dewy. It has that very nice uh, satin matte kind of a finish on the skin and um, it looks really nice for me for the rest of my face it's a very long wearing concealer just underneath my eyes i feel like it fades away from the inner corner so i did top it off with another inside concealer which is also really good in my opinion and this one again works like a charm like i can use this all over my face or underneath my eyes this one is the inside um concealer i think this one is in the shade medium yellow i have used this all over my face underneath my eyes and everything and this is what i have right now underneath my eyes as well it's a very very creamy concealer to like borderline dewy concealer as well and it doesn't move i don't really have to set it the minute i set these kind of very dewy creamy concealers they do cake up underneath my eyes but otherwise it just looks so good it's what i have right now i did apply another high-end concealer on this side and even that faded away but this one is staying in place like a charm adding really good coverage and i absolutely love this concealer and then for blush this one is a pretty recent discovery but i haven't been able to put this one down this is the maybelline not not maybelline makeup revolution super dewy blush in you got me blushing a very nice pink nude kind of a blush but it's not extremely dewy but not too matte as well i didn't really like the k beauty cream blush i found it to be a little bit too matte for me particularly I, for my liking and I found it to be a little bit like of a whipped mousse consistency it just didn't work for my skin and it was clinging on to the texture of my skin but this one is so smooth so long wearing and I've also tested this with water it's waterproof it just stays it stays in place and very easy to blend and uh, even if you do go overboard with this one it's not like too much on your skin it's not a very intensely pigmented blush but it does show up on the skin really well and um, even if you do like by mistake apply a little bit more it, you get a seamless blend with this particular blush and you can also top off this blush with a matte blush and they still don't look too much on the face and then for uh, powder blush of course i had to talk about this one this one is a daily forever 52 blush this one is in the shade sandy and i think it's called dark brown on amazon i'm not sure why they've listed it differently but this blush first of all the packaging is really nice it comes with a nice mirror huge pan size i think you get 10 grams of product which is really good and just the shade the formula everything is so good and they have a wide variety of shade options irrespective of your skin tone irrespective of your preference for blush the undertones you are bound to find a shade for yourself it is that good so definitely do look into this blush if you are looking at trying out any blush like especially if you're like okay should i buy like a mac blush but they are expensive but try this out instead and you will thank me later I mean, the packaging is nice and sleek it's just that if you have like uh the amazon acrylic organizers these don't fit in and then for face palette this hands down 
is one of my favorite face palettes of all time because I get to use all the three products in this particular palette. And sometimes, you know, the bronzer would work or it might not and the highlighter might be too shimmery. Only the blush would be something that I would get maximum use out of. But in this palette, I get use out of all the three products. They're really nice. This one doesn't show up that well on me if I have like a pretty intense tan on. So just keep that in mind if you are deep of a deeper skin tone than I am. But I do really like this. This highlighter is really nice and subtle. This blush is beautiful. It's pigmented and it's not too much and it's a matte blush, but it doesn't cling onto my uh, skin differently and it doesn't like dry my skin out all the more. So I really like it. It's very sleek, very travel friendly. And then for highlighter, I have this one. This is the mask highlighter and this one is in the shade champagne. This is what I have on my face and I love how subtle it looks, but it does the job of showing up and it's not too much on the face. It's not like it's having a lot of shimmer particles. This is something that I do use generally in most of my videos. Like even if I'm not talking about the product, like if I'm getting ready, I do generally use this particular product. It is so affordable. Like right now I'm looking at my skin up close and I can see that there's no shimmer particles all over my face or falling down all over my cheek nothing of that sort so smooth color match is pretty good as well it's not like too silver not too gold not too pink perfect blend of a little bit of gold and champagne i really like that and um the formula is really nice i can blend this with just my fingers and be good to go really like this product and another one is from uh, makeup revolution this one is in the shade um uh, gold okay I'm not sure what it's called, but it, this is a really nice baked highlighter where it looks intense, but you can go with this with a very light hand. It looks really nice and smooth on the skin, or you can build on it to make it really intense if you are someone who's looking at like an intense highlight. So I really like this particular highlighter and I think that it's underrated. It deserves more attention and i feel like a lot of you guys would feel the same about this particular highlighter i've stopped pretty much buying high-end highlighters i mean i can't completely stop all altogether because this is my job i need to try out as many products as i can but i don't find the need to buy like a lot of high-end expensive highlighters because all of these affordable highlighters pretty much do the same thing this one is smooth like smooth on the skin not very dry and not too like powdery looking it does have shimmer particles but it's not intense glitter like huge ch chunky shimmer particles so now coming to eyeshadow palette i have this one from la girl this one is not available anymore in india but these eyeshadow palettes from la girl like the one that comes in these kind of pack packaging they are so good the matte shades are really nice and pigmented the shimmer shades are like intense okay you don't have to wet it and uh, get the pigmentation out of it it is that good it is smooth and amazing like just look at that they are soft the matte shades are soft not a lot of fallout shimmer, shimmer shades are like this they are nice and foily and um pack a punch on your eyelid so you don't really have to reach out for any other eyeshadow palette like if you buy something from this it is so good okay so uh, these are not really very affordable but you can always find them on pretty good discount and that's the idle time you can pick them up i got this one for a flat 50 percent off and i completely find them to be worth the price like this one hands down beats a lot of high-end eyeshadow palettes when i Trust me on that. Like this kind of a shimmer, I cannot see in a lot of high-end eyeshadow palettes as well. It is that good. So definitely do check that out. And then for mascara, I have my uh, Maybelline, the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I think this is the waterproof variant. I really like it. It's what I have on my lashes right now. It elongates my lash pretty well, adds pretty good volume to it as well. And um, again, I don't find the need. I actually just have, I think, two high-end or no three high-end mascaras and that's pretty much it because all of these affordable mascaras are just as amazing i have talked about the mass fabulash i like my kiro botanico um the essence essence uh, lash princess mascara is not waterproof so that's a big bummer for me um 
But apart from that, all of these mascaras are my constant and I always go back to that. I always reach for it the most and these are really good. And then let's talk about some lip products. I don't know how I forgot to mention this particular lipstick formula in so many of the videos that I've made already. This one is the Faces Jewel Cut Lipstick. This one is in the shade Noble Garnet. This is a beautiful shade. I'm not sure if I have the swatch of that. If I do, I will insert it. It is such a beautiful shade. And the formula of this one is not very matte, but it's not like glossy glossy satin it's a beautiful creamy matte formula it feels really nice on the lips and so luxe like it just feels like any other high-end lipstick and the shade selection in this is so good so i would highly recommend you guys try this out and um think before you invest in very high-end lipsticks and then of course it's a choice you want to make but if in case you do want to buy some lipstick you can try those out and then uh for lip crayons i don't think you have to buy like the nude, nude stick lip crayons or the nas or anything because the affordable market is in fact oversaturated with lip crayons at this point i have the lacme absolute plush matte lip crayon a really good formulation i have this one in the shade roasted almond uh, i have another shade as well which i really really like i forgot the name of that that is a really nice shade and then i have the mass lip crayon in the shade girl power beautiful uh, brown reddish kind of a shade very pigmented and in fact in these mars and swiss beauty uh, lip crayons you actually get more quantity than most of your other lip crayons so yeah even if you have to sharpen it you still have more quantity uh, most lip, lip crayons you get like 0.6 grams one gram in this you get 3.2 grams of product which is really nice and the shade selection is so good these are really comfortable both the swiss, swiss beauty and mars the formulation is really nice long wearing it is quite matte and drying uh, depending on your preference but i like it and then i recently discovered this maybelline ultimate lipstick and i have this one in the shade mo taupe beautiful formula again nice and soft matte doesn't have any kind of sheen to it and looks really nice on the lips and uh, comfortable as well so so good the affordable market it's like you have a surplus of lipsticks lip crayons liquid lipsticks so really nice and then the liquid lipstick i have on my lips right now which is fading away from the corner of my lips because that happens to me every single time no matter what the liquid lipstick is it will fade away because i have like intense movements going on like you know this one is in the this one is a lacme absolute matte melt liquid lip color this one is in the shade mocha short it's a beautiful brown uh, liquid lipstick i absolutely love this i like the comfort it gives it it's quite long wearing and i don't feel like it's very uncomfortable on my lips i have worn this out i've worn this throughout the day i really like it uh, it does go on a little bit watery but once you let it settle down it's a really nice comfortable finish i know not a lot of people like this formulation i'm not sure why but i really like it from the shades that i have tried out i've even tried out their um mini liquid lipsticks worked out like a charm for me so yeah that's pretty much everything i wanted to talk to you guys about i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video and also before you leave let me know what other videos you'd like to watch leave the comments down below and see you guys in my next one Bye. Yeah, watching the rise and i wouldn't say i'm shocked because i'm hardly surprised this one's for the ride, this one's for who knew I'd make it, just needed some time This one's for my wife